going on? How are you doing? Long yeah, time no doing? see. Well, actually, <laughs> I don't think we've ever no, seen. No, this is the first time <laughs> but, we interviewed Tyler. First off. To yeah. you, but we talked to Tyler a million times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've said hi. <laughs> hi, plenty of times. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, hello, Stephen P. Kitty Cat, or or Crimson Meerkat. We don't know. It could <laughs> be Carl. Even I don't know. Hello, Roxanne. Hello, Calvin. Roxanne. Jennifer, I know you're <laughs> super stoked on this one. <laughs> She's a huge October Noir fan, right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> And hello, Carrie. Hello. Uh, hey, Calvin. I said hi to Calvin. Oh, I already. just said hi, Calvin. We're I fast. didn't like skip over him or anything like that. <laughs> hey, Angie. All right. Now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way thus far, of course, I will just squirrel out sometimes and be like, hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So. As many of you know, we have spoken to the band October Noir a few times. A couple times, yeah. A couple times with yeah, Tom, uh, Tom and Doug. Retro, Raggy, what? I don't know, Retro. I don't know. I wouldn't get too tra- distracted by comments right now. <laughs> I'm trying to have an <laughs> right. intro right now. Okay, let me say, but again, as many of you know, that we have gotten the opportunity to talk to October Noir a few times. And <laughs> hi, Estrella, I love you. <laughs> Um, and, but one thing that we haven't had the chance to do is talk to Tyler. And that was because it was kind of like, so the first time it was almost a bit of a different dynamic, really. And the second time you were around, but you weren't able to make it into the interview. That was the second the second time was when we were trying to get the new song uploaded. For some odd reason, we couldn't yeah. get it to work. He was, he was, he was there. Yeah, but he that, wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't there. there. I, I, I was. We were. Uh, we were all dressed up too. I had my mask on and all that stuff. And I was getting ready to throw my phone and everything against the wall in the middle because I was like, we could not get the music to work at all for some odd reason. It couldn't. It would not upload or anything. Oh, it was funny. <laughs> we were doing photo, like video editing while live. Um. <laughs> And you were in the you were in the comments on that one, which yeah, was, like, I was there. pretty funny. <laughs> but we haven't had the opportunity to get to sit down with you. So, guys, this is Tyler. He is from October Noir. He's the drummer, right? And drummer, yeah. also, you do the Noir Hour. Yeah, yeah, that's something that's recently come about uh, since July. Nice. So, how that happened is. Um, you know, there's a lot of internet radio stations everywhere. And there was one in particular that played us every single week. And it was like every single Sunday and every single Sunday I was always free. So I would, you know, they have a little, they have a chat room and I would hang out in there and kind of listen to it. And I built like a rapport with them and, uh, you know, I was enjoying their stuff. No, I mean, it's a Sunday afternoon. So I'm around the house and cutting grass and kind of, you know, making food and just kind of relaxing and it was a real relaxing atmosphere. So I was like, well, and they, they started talking to me gradually and they, um, you know, they're a small, you know, it's a small station and they said, Hey, we would love for you to come on. Have you ever thought about doing radio? And I said, fuck no, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> no, I've never thought about doing radio. I'm the, mo- you know, um, when I, from January to, to now, I'm like a totally different person because I was always, you know, very recluse. I'm, you know, and I'm still kind of that way. I'm kind of breaking out of that. But so I think I think it was right after the 4th of July was my first show that I did. And I bought I bought all the equipment and which wasn't terribly expensive because I'm a big eBay bargain shopper. But I got, nice. I got all my stuff and there it was. And. And I found myself really enjoying it. You know, we, um, there was a time in the year where we were taking a break as a band just to focus on some things. And so it was kind of like my muse in a way. Um, Mm -hmm. I get to play what I want, you know, that, you know, if I was, if I was listening to a radio station, I would be listening to my own because it's all my favorite stuff. So yeah, that's how that started. And I've been doing it for, I guess, 14 or 15 episodes now. So it's, Nice. It's pretty cool. It's you know, 
before you know it, it's going to be, you'll be like, oh, 14, 15 episodes before you know it, you're like 200, 300. Wow. Yeah, right. Where'd they go? Yeah. Well, I've had a lot of fun doing it and I know a lot of really cool people. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, well, shit, what about, what if I do interviews on it? And that led to doing interviews and that led to rolling the interview over to YouTube. And I mean, I've had, you know, I'm not, I haven't had huge success, but I've had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, That's the whole point, man. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm always hopeful, like, oh, maybe I'll get, you know, this person or that person and I'll really shoot off. But it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. I, I must be a glutton for punishment because it's just every single second of my free time is spent on something. So it's always running in the back of my head with this stuff. That's always, what we always do. Always yeah. listening. Uh, for me, I'm always because I do all the uh, most of the research and, and put everything together. And then uh, Aka here does the other half of the research and then reads everything. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know, I said most, I'm sorry. But it's always, you know, listening to podcasts and listening to whatever. And then like, oh, we should cover this guy or that guy or or whatnot, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I found one the other day that just disgusted me. And I was like, we should cover him. <laughs> That's how it always <laughs> like, goes. He, he, I'm not even going to say his name <laughs> at the moment just because, you know, it's not not going to be for another couple of weeks that he even right. comes up but um uh, he's somewhat local and i didn't know about him and i read about him and i was like this guy is horrific hey babe we gotta talk about him it's always that it's a, oh, we got, oh, oh oh my god, god. i can't believe did he five hours of research really? later we're talking about oh. this guy. <laughs> yeah so he, i mean he had sex with a dead horse what <laughs> <laughs> That's how, interesting. How do you hold down two ostrich? <laughs> how, how would you have sex with an ostrich? I guess if it was a sick ostrich, maybe it's got to take at least two people. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to hold that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> so Angie says, "Love the guitars on the wall, Tyler." Oh, thank you. That's... Thank you. Yeah, typically when I do um, when I'm doing my interviews, I got about this much of me. So now I've got more. There's that's, a lot of sh <laughs> there's a lot of shit going on in here. That's basically but, what we ended up doing. We used to have like this thing encompassing us, and you know, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I was like, one day, I, I he wasn't home, and I'm too short to put everything up, and I couldn't find the step ladder, so I was like, screw it. I just put all of these posters everywhere yeah. and went live, and we've done that since. So. Well, I'm I'm got I've got a bad problem with being just like a poster junkie, autograph junkie. I mean it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And um, late, I've been going to a lot of shows lately and getting to meet the bands that I'm like I never thought I would. Um, I got backstage to see Corn not too long ago. Nice. And I was playing, and we were playing cornhole with the Corn <laughs> and Amy Lee from Evanescence. I'm like, That's I so cool. those picks. I'm like, what <laughs> what is happening right now? And, they're uh, from here. They're from here. They're from Bakersfield. Yeah, I that delivered probably, pizza. I, it's going to be hard to ever beat that one. I got to tell you. I mean, um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. When I got an answer for the. Uh, <laughs> uh, apparently, I, I had a fucking ostrich. Hip waiters and Velcro. Hip oh. waiters and Velcro. Oh god. Uh, wait, that's sheep. Wouldn't work for ostrich. Carry on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm staying away from the chat on that one. <laughs> uh, we got Derpy Wave to all. Uh, so <laughs> you had mentioned that you guys were taking a break. Um, I, yeah. I, I kind of wanted to ask questions about this because I personally had a minor freak out moment. Um, yeah, you and about a thousand <laughs> other people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I went, yeah. It, I, I understand it was a complete I had to buy mis a new phone after that. Oh God. But. No, I like I totally understand that it was a complete misunderstanding that like most of us simply read things wrong. Right. Like we we just saw a couple words and flipped out. Like, oh my God, what's going yeah. on? Yeah, that you was know? my biggest fear. Uh that was my biggest fear. You know, we we we're gonna stay quiet on it, you know. I mean, it wasn't it, we were all kind of uncertain about, you know, some things, but mm -hmm. yeah, Doug, Doug had mentioned that, you know, he, he had, he, he wanted to kind of get it off of his chest and it, 
And I was worried that it would come out, you know, that people would interpret it in a different way. And they definitely did. So but I see everyone's view on it. Honestly, I yeah. see why he would want to get that yeah, off his chest. I, no, definitely. Yeah. And then of course there was me and I know Jennifer in particular, we were both going back and forth. Like what the fuck is going on? Oh yeah. Like, you know, cause, like I said, she's a big fan. Uh <laughs> Well, what had happened is, you know, we were just, we were pushing so hard and it was just, everything was nonstop. And, you know, we just, you know, Tom kind of needed a break. You know, the, we all, you know, when you're doing anything, it takes a lot, it takes a lot away from your personal life and personal life tends to su really suffer and mm -hmm. sometimes severely. So that was kind of what that was about. And you know, we could have said nothing and been just fine, but you know, it it is what it is. Um, during the, during this time, we've been really writing. We've been writing a new album, and we've been really focusing on that I'm because I mean, you know, we're that. we're kind of at the point where we can't, you know, we can't really hop on a tour, just mm -hmm. hop and go at the moment. And yeah, and 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 I don't think that we necessarily would do that unless it was just too good to, to pass up, but. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, we we know we have our own lives outside of the band, and I know that I know that's hard for people to. Hell, it's hard for me to say that sometimes because it just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem that way. It's always like like you said, it's always on your mind. But mm -hmm. we've just been kind of taking that downtime to really get some things straightened out with ourselves yeah. and, um, uh, and writing music, and, and we I just mean, released. Need to realize that. Well, it's hard. I mean, it's hard for me to come to the realization like, yeah, we do need to kind of, you know, we need to sit down and kind of chill out for a little while. But yeah, it's been it's been great, actually, to kind of kind of like cleanse the palate, I guess, and really yeah. step back and write. Tom is writing like some amazing, amazing shit. I, I don't know how he does it. I ask him all the time. Uh, we'll talk. We'll be texting and he'll he'll be sending me paragraphs and it sounds like a song. It, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm so envious of that guy because I have never been the lyricist and he is somewhat of a poet, I suppose. I mean, he, he you're right. The way that he talks in general, like it, it it's, it's smooth. I, I don't know how else to put that. Yeah. It, it's smooth and it just, it, it, it flows nicely. Whereas somebody like me, and I mean, I, I'm just gonna assume you as well. Yeah. We're we're a little <laughs> bit uh everywhere with how we talk, and me more so. <laughs> and so yeah. it, it doesn't flow as well, at least out of my mouth. I, I'm not poetic. I'm not. I just talk. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, he, he I seem the, to try uh, to talk as little as possible most times, but. But when he talks, I'm, he gets the uh, the the for the ladies, he gets the moisture in the panties. <laughs> I hate to say it that way, but he's got yeah. that voice. <laughs> he really does, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> a uh, a great story that I guess we're both gonna have to tell at the same time here. Um. So one night we were hanging out and have a couple beers or whatever, and uh, I walked out of the room. For it couldn't have been more than two minutes. And I come back to this guy crying. I wasn't just crying. I was sobbing. I was freaking. And I declaring was... that Peter Steele was not dead. <laughs> um, Like, no, no joke. Yeah. Just streaming tears. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> it was. Really... Uh, it was the cover of Cry Little Sister. Was that then going delving deeper into it and actually listening to your guys' songs and actually stuff like that and and, and hearing that it wasn't and I, I brought this the first time I really talked to Tom I, I did bring this up to him I was like it wasn't just that hey you guys did a couple of cool covers it was it was carrying the torch and moving further and doing your own thing yeah you know with it and actually encompassing and, and, and evolving from from a, a love of the same band, you know, type of negative and stuff like that, that we have, that, that we have and everything. And I was like, this is amazing. I was like, and, and to hear and then new, morphing. new music being written and then 
being yourselves, you know, and just moving forward. It was, it was so, so cool to, uh, to hear stuff like that, you know? And yeah. I, I just, I just thought it was great because like, and then we, we hit you guys up and now <laughs> we have had the coolest opportunity to know you guys, to, to talk to you guys, to this right here, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, it's cool for me too. I'm a fan of y'all's as well. I really enjoy the, uh, the serial killer talks. <laughs> oh well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. I, you know, I was a fan of this band first before anything. Uh, you know, I, me and Tom, we're obviously in the same area, and I was in another band, and he just, you know, he was. It was time for a new drummer, you know, and yeah. mm-hmm. that's where I stepped in. And yeah, the first time I met him, I was like, I was kind of starstruck, you know, because I had been listening. And I'm like, holy shit, this is, this is uh, something. The, it's, the it's professional the, the yeah. professionalism from you guys is amazing to to see that you know you're starting off from just you know only being a couple years old and to see that type of professionalism and actually just how you guys just meld and, and just come together so well you know it, it's it's absolutely amazing to watch and even being that you were i mean out of out of everybody the newer one in the band you you mesh really well mm-hmm. yeah yeah, I think so as well. Uh, well, me and Tom, we have a lot in common, especially when it comes to taste and music. Um, you know, I can say a obscure song or whatever, and he knows exactly what I'm talking about and what album it was off of. So that that really does help the dynamics. Um, you know, we all you know when we're writing, it's it's just throwing stuff back and forth, and it's it, it's always successful. It's like everything that comes out is good. And we know we'll take a a, pit, a piece from here or there and mesh it in. I'm really excited. There's there's at least three or four songs that are done for the new album, or almost done. Um, Fangirl moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the and the single that we just put out uh, a few weeks ago is doing really well, which I love it. I think it's some of the best stuff that's ever come out of this band. So, yeah. Ask questions. I gotta touch something. Oh, <laughs> you put me on the spot. What the? I like this. I was just listening for a second. Um, you're you're talking about like uh, uh you know, past influences, and I uh, uh, what what were like musically some of your past influences uh, like that that really got you like as a kid to get into this to the I don't for me for like the like the metal scene and stuff like that. You right. Know? So, well, um. I mean, I, when I was younger, I was an emo kid. So I listened to emo all the time. Uh, you know, Bayside, Silverstein, The Used, uh, stuff like that. The Used, I got you on. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that was my, that was my shit. Uh, Silverstein was like my favorite band, but you know, I mean, I, I was late to music because I was late to the internet. I mean, I, I got my first computer when I was in a senior in high school. So I was 2009. Oh wow! So as does. soon as I got that computer, I dove <laughs> into music and you know found you know found the Cure and found uh, all these other bands. I mean, oh, I think I you know amazing. found Typo Negative and found him as my favorite band. Um, yeah, I see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't I tell can you how much that. I paid for that poster. It's it's like uh, it's off of their very first tour, and I see a few. Yeah. Do you do you have a hologram tattoo? I don't. <laughs> I'm just. I don't, not yet. I've always wanted one. I just. I kind of have an addictive personality, cool. so I feel like if I start, you know, if I get a tattoo, I'll never stop, and I'll it'll just be insane. That's it's, part it's of my problem. It's a good thing. Get, it's it's a good thing to be addicted to. Though, that if you're going to be yeah. addicted to something, is tattoos. Uh, the only reason why I am not absolutely covered is I'm broke. <laughs> so because I want this all covered, I want these all covered. So yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> well, I've got you know I've got enough bad habits. I, I figure I might as well just kind of hold off on that as long as I can, and just do the Zach Wild thing forever. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> I think Zach Wild has a real uh, doesn't doesn't he have the what what is he he where he the blood clot medicine he's on? And there was a story he can't drink anymore because oh, of the yeah. doctor yeah straight yeah. up he can bleed out like right. fast Jeez. and the dude I'm not the biggest Zach Wild fan, but uh, musically, like, but when it comes to him, his work he's ethic, a nice guy. he's a great guy. 
Uh, but his, uh, I saw a picture of him, and this was like well after he uh, was taking the meds for the blood clots and everything. He cut himself on his uh, fingers, and he's just bleeding all over his guitar yeah. while he's shredding, man. And like, it, he did a whole show like that. Didn't stop. He, he's just a freaking rock star about it. Awesome work ethic. Yeah, I met. I got. To, I got to meet him in 2019, and it was just like oh. the coolest thing. Um, yeah, I'm a real big fan of his solo work. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Book of Shadows and everything like that. The Book of Shadows is the all time great. I do movie. uh like that album. I got that. My buddy got it back in. Oh, he saw he, he saw Zach Wild uh doing his Book of Shadows. Man, it was ninety six. Yeah, ninety six. Yeah, yeah ninety six. I was probably five years old. <laughs> I'm old. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Well, I'm, I was born. I was born too late. I wish I was born earlier, so I could have seen all that cool shit that I missed out on. It, I mean, I feel the same way. I mean, I, I'm, I'm probably okay. You said how you were how old? Thirty one. Okay, I'm five years older than you. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, I still have that gap of things that I completely missed that I wish I had the opportunity to see. Yeah. You know. But yeah. I'm doing my best to make up for it now and not <laughs> miss anything right. and just do everything I can. So I have a question. If okay. you had like a dream lineup that you can play with, we, we yep. asked this to Tom and he had no clue. <laughs> like he, had, <laughs> he had no answer now. Okay. So there are no real stipulations on this. This, this could be uh, people that are dead bands that are no longer around. If there was a dream lineup for you to play with, like, what would it be? Do I have right, to go? In, do I have to go in order of who opens and closes? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> totally uh, not. <laughs> it would probably it would probably be the Cure, him, typo, and us. Nice that ass show. I would. I would. That would so... be a show. I would so see that show. Let's... I have been begging Tom to get you guys out here to California, yeah. <laughs> like begging, and he and he was like, "I'm not sure." Like, like this is a while ago. Last last yeah. time we were talking, but he's like, "I'm not sure." I'm like, "Believe me, if you guys came out here, like <laughs> you'd blow up on the West Coast too." California is <laughs> one of those spots that yeah, it's it's we were we were discussing earlier. Right. Um, awesome lineup. That is, you know, uh, business wise, it's difficult to get started out. But you know, with the uh, the touring and with um, uh, like festivals and stuff like that, it's great to get out here because everything is so close. Everything is, uh, you know, you, if we're we're an hour and a half away from Hollywood right now, uh, and that's even like beating LA traffic. It, it's just so tight knit, and it's easy to get around. And you have so many venues. I mean, there's 13 million people in LA County, county yeah. alone. So. It's just a huge place for huge opportunities for bands and stuff. We're a bunch of whimper snappers. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Calvin is our dad. Um, <laughs> mostly because he found out he's the same age as my dad. <laughs> but and also Roxanne has a heart tattoo. Oh, that's rad. <laughs> um, so you may have also answered this. I know I know that you had like influences as far as like which we already answered like right my brain just stopped my I, brain stopped where was my where was i going with that you should be speaking into the mic <laughs> uh, no 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 i uh, you know what let's go to commercial and i will <laughs> end the brain fart okay? okay the brain fart will go away after commercial we'll be right yeah. back <laughs> Well, gentlemen, perhaps we wouldn't be where we are today if we hadn't said to ourselves, just go, 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 La Señora de la Santa Muerte, Spanish for Our Lady of the Holy Dead. Out now! Ooh, not sex and violence! Hey, 
everybody. I'm a cop. And I'm Free Texas Diamon. And we are Roots Lead Red on Psycho Bunny Death Cult. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> In fact, humans have a very long history of eating each other. So lock your doors, turn out your lights, and join us for Cooler Radio. Beautiful people out there, it's your boy Slippy, and when I'm not guzzling down gallons and gallons of amazing ice cream, yes, oh, I love ice cream, oh, hang on, um, I'm watching PBDC TV, now back to the show, all you beautiful people, and remember, stay nasty. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Gotta love Slippy, man. <laughs> Gotta love Slippy. Uh, Calvin says the low tonight is supposed to be around 29 degrees. I'm jealous. Oh, I wish. <laughs> so there's a question. What's the weather like out there? I heard it's very <laughs> pollinated and bad. <laughs> I think it's like 75 right now. It was, I think it was 90 today. It's hot as oh, hell that's, today. That's how it was here. I had to change a battery out today. <laughs> My car died this morning. And I was like, oh, okay, got to go buy a battery. So we went and bought a battery and replaced that. And that's what I was doing most of the day. Then we went and worked out for a while. <laughs> I'm really sore. And then yeah. we ate like crap. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing drums today. I was uh, practicing. I haven't practiced in a while. I've been so busy. And I can feel it right here. I was like, ah, oh, what's that? right there for me yep i mean i don't play drums but <laughs> I, I i'm totally willing to take lessons i play drums terribly um i me can too. do <laughs> stop no it <laughs> okay so aside from the drums what other instruments do you play i mean i'm assuming guitar yeah i started out playing, I started out playing guitar when i was young you know uh messing around with it and I think if you play guitar, you always play bass too. So that's you know. I started off with bass, uh, uh, guitar. I, 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 I've met, I messed around with guitars here and there, but uh, mostly bass for me. Yeah. So yeah, I've never been a great guitar player, but I've always played. So um, nice. Which you know oh. it, which is fun. Like you know, um, some local bands around in town. Uh, last year, I filled I, I fill in for a, I filled in for a bunch of bands on bass and guitar here and there uh you know big they had big shows coming up and a member dropped out so i was like yeah, i'll do it and i don't know it's kind of just second nature at this point i mean i've been doing it for so long i, I can just pick it up pretty easy is wait we got a question oh go ahead 
Do you sneak into a secret room, pump the amp up to 11, and go crazy on that flying V? <laughs> <laughs> I, every, now, every now and then I will crank it up, but crank not, not as often lately. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Nadine also says, I've got a zombie zipline tomorrow, and I'm going to see L7 live on Sunday. So excited. Oh. Nice. <laughs> So, um, you guys said that you've been working on new music. I saw the single that came out. That's what I got to put back up. Um, guys. You took the banner down. <laughs> banner back up. There you go. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, head on over to October Noir on Facebook, but also it's www.octobernoir.org. Remember that. And there's also the Noir Hour, which Tyler's on. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I keep. I keep all that on Facebook so people can, you know, check it out and follow it as they, as they want. But. Nice. Um, so you guys had a new single come out. Yeah. And I had the opportunity to listen to it. And I loved it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've heard it a bunch. I know you've heard it a bunch. <laughs> I hope you've heard it a bunch. I have. <laughs> um, what? Like, okay. So, what kind of aspect do you have in the creation process? Because I know Tom does the lyrics right. and does a lot of the organization of it. But as a drummer, I mean, you your percussion, you keep the beat. You have right. you, you have to drive the song. So yeah, well, usually usually how we write is Tom will come up with an idea, uh, lyrics. You know, usually lyrics, and he'll kind of track it out track out the guitars and he'll throw down like just just a scratch drum track and i'll listen to it and really think about it and dissect it and come and get over to the our studio and kind of just lay it down and nail it out um sometimes it's not as easy as others because there's so many things that i can do and but <clears throat> big on letting this music just really you know, let every all the instruments just speak for the music and not trying to get too crazy or too wild. It, it's just it's uh this music is very different from a lot of bands. You know, it's very Definitely. personal and intimate. And that's and I mean it's you know, it's the same feeling as you get when you listen to typo negative. I it and when you oh, hear yeah. Tom, it's kind of the you know, he's he sounds he is the reincarnate <laughs> aspect. <laughs> Yes, he is. I know he hates it sometimes. He does. I, um, but I can't help it because that is originally what drew us to him, and well, we love what, hearing yeah. the originality that's coming out of you guys. We really do. But yeah. his voice, it's it's hauntingly like Peter Steele. Yeah. Well, he says all the time that he could play in a in a punk rock band, and he would still they would still make the comparison. So, might it's as well carnivore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might as well just do what you know. Do this music and serve it like we're doing. Kelly says hi. Hey, Kelly Testa. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, yes, yes. If he was in a full-on punk band, absolutely, he would still probably sound like him. Yeah, because he cannot help it that he has that voice. I have a friend who sounds exactly like Tom Mariah. And no matter what he does, he sounds exactly like Tom Mariah. Yeah. Does he look like, like him too? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Not 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 so much, honestly, lately. I mean, because he decided to shave his head and everything like that, but he has some <laughs> of the traits. Um but it, it it's funny because some people in his band were giving him some crap. Like, hey, you sound like Tom. You sound like Tom Ryan. You're yeah. also leaving something out about. I am leaving something out on purpose. <laughs> um, but and they were he was like, dude, I literally cannot help it. I yeah. you, you can't you can't help what you it's, sound like. Well, Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, you know, in saying that, and saying that, we do get a lot of hate. Um, why we get a lot of hate because people think it's a gimmick. Um, no. a lot of people think that we're just a gimmick and a cover band and that we, our okay, so I can understand why Tom yeah has yeah. an issue. Yeah. Well, I mean, we get we definitely get more love than hate. 
but the hate is so severe sometimes. And it it's funny to me because the music is so fucking good. And everything, you know, everything that comes out of this band is incredible. I mean, I say I can say that because I was a fan first. I just mm-hmm. got lucky enough to to play the music that I really have always wanted to play with a group of guys that, you know, that it just flows well with. Yeah, yeah I see it all the time. Um, but that's the funny thing is, you know, uh, we know people that know that knew knew Peter and knew the band and they love mm-hmm. it. And there's so much support there. You just, I, I don't, it doesn't really, really phase me. Yeah, it doesn't phase me at all. I think it's hilarious. Um, people write paragraphs, just endless. <laughs> it's just brutal, but it's. Internet Karens. <laughs> yeah. But it's so funny because who would spend that much time, you know, who would spend that Aunt much time hate. to hate it so uh, passionately? You'd be surprised. There's a lot of people out there oh. and a lot of, <laughs> we, we, on our end we get a lot of it too and it's like you guys are really wasting this much time and focusing effort. on us when you guys yeah. can be focusing on your lives and your and everything else going in you know here we it's- actually have a lot of merch um that came out of people hating us um yeah. and, and and talking shit and some of our best selling merchandise <laughs> <laughs> has been people being rude and being being just assholes to us yeah and so um honestly we end up thanking those people in the end because we're like you know your hate ended up being such a big joke to us that we made these awesome shirts and and mugs and (laughs) people liked them yeah well it's it's kind of funny too that you can live rent free in somebody's mind Uh, (laughs) it's it's almost uh, it's almost like a gift in a way. I mean, you don't you don't have to do anything at all. They they can't stop thinking about it, and it's mm-hmm. weird. The people free... are people are super fucked. Is all I know. But oh yeah, yeah, it's just the free publicity from the people who hate you. It's like, dude, absolutely. All I you're mean, doing right now, you can't stop oh, talking about it. You know, they can't stop talking about it. So <laughs> I love it, just, it. It turns into word of mouth, and then it's yeah. gonna, it goes to one or two other people who are like, and then people are like, gonna, oh, I gotta go check them out. I'm gonna see absolutely. what these. I'm gonna see what who this, are these assholes. I'm gonna see what this shitty band is sound like. All of a sudden, they put it in. They're like, this band's amazing. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ke- Kelly says, time to bring your asses back up here to New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all we all went up there to New York uh, to Brooklyn actually. Nice. When, when was that? Mar- uh, March, maybe April, April. We went up there as a band, and Kelly was our chauffeur chauffeur around the town. We That's had a lot nice. Of hi, Kelly. Welcome. <laughs> I mean, I know I said hi earlier, but I wanted an extra welcome there. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne says haters make you famous. Yeah. Damn right. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> I mean, um. <laughs> One of the, uh, oh God, I got to get that in a second. Uh, one of the people that we were actually going to throw, throw a commercial on for in probably about four minutes. Um, they, they have haters too, and they're, they are thriving. It- Absolutely thriving. And we all sit around and laugh our asses off about it at, at this point. Yeah. You yeah. know? And uh, Calvin says, love me, hate me, masturbate, scream in my name. That's all that counts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> this is why we love Calvin. Let that, let that sink in for a little while. <laughs> Spin! Hello! Over in the Netherlands. Hello. Yeah, let that one sink in for a little while. <laughs> um, that might be a new shirt, guys. <laughs> scream my name while you're masturbating, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Love me, hate me, screaming, <laughs> masturbate, screaming my name. Um, I, I there was a shirt that says "Gear Straight." We all masturbate. <laughs> uh, that, that's very true. <laughs> right, <laughs> best shirt ever. <laughs> Except for Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore just hey, wanted to let's not let's not let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's not even mention that horribleness. Uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I didn't mean it. I, meant, oh, I, was, I, was, I was touching the side of your chair. I didn't mean to touch your side. I apologize. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go to another quick commercial. And when we get back, we will continue our fun chit chat. All right. We'll be right back. This is Professor Redger Fluffosaurus from Spooky Tales with Steve the Cat, and when I'm not hosting Monster Chat or knocking down small Japanese cities, I'm watching PBDC TV. Now back to the show. All right. So, yeah. by the way, guys, we put a link to the new single in the chat. To the so, YouTube. Nice. The YouTube. So please go, like, go check it out, like it, share it, and uh, make sure you smash that bell so you can get all the notifications from october noir and stuff like that and yeah enjoy their awesome awesome amazing music that they have like i said we we immediately fell in love with their music and this is why we always want you guys on our shows like <laughs> you guys are awesome you're yeah. down to earth you're great musicians just amazing and we love you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah well Actually, right before we started this, like, I don't know what it, we started just about just about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. We we, ha we have announced that we're hitting the stage again. Fuck yeah. So, Where are you going to start the tour? Well, we're just going to do a kind of a one off show right now. Okay. So it's kind of a big it's kind of a big deal for for me and for us I, I know it's been a long time since we've been on the stage so i'm excited yeah i mean i know i can't be out there although the sad part was we were totally going to be out there um like next week yeah 
a but lot of things came up and we a lot it. of things came up and and we have a, another really cool opportunity as far as like going to haunts and stuff like that goes so we're, we're gonna take that opportunity for that but next year next year we, we'll be yeah out. we are planning on doing a, a southern tour next year which would be a it's going to be amazing <laughs> so, so just, yes oh sorry totally for, for us mostly it's just going around to the conventions and then setting up this and going oh here you go you guys get to watch us do a live show here and maybe you know be a part of it and stuff like that you know <laughs> so <Nothing> major <laughs> kelly says they are a great group of guys and yes so happy and kelly commenting brings up another question well what did you guys do in new york how like how did you like it up there oh it was awesome it was it was cold i loved it i don't think i took i don't think i took my jacket off the entire time we went oh, up there. Funny. We went up there. It was a uh, was the Peter Still Memorial. It was like the the Peter Tree in the park. Oh, I saw. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Tom and Doug had already bought their plane ticket, and I was I decided like I'm not gonna go. You know, it's kind of out of my wheelhouse, and I think I bought my ticket uh, like a week before we left, and I wound up paying like two hundred extra dollars, but it was worth it. So we all we all went up there and. It was exciting. It was awesome to see New York. I mean, I, I had been to New York when I was a child, but I mean, you're a kid. You don't remember anything. And New York is so much bigger than, I mean, I, we you know we're down in the South. It's just beaches and palm trees and it's yeah. the place is huge. <laughs> uh, but we had a great time. It, it was truly one of the coolest things I've ever done. I don't, I don't know if there could be a, a better, more, I know, just a more fulfilling weekend. Um, we got up there and everybody there knew who we were. It took a minute, but they're like, holy shit. And we were, and we were actually with Dennis Pana too. Okay. Uh, and he's, he's big on YouTube and he's a huge yeah. on YouTube. And so we actually going to reach out to him and see if he wants an interview at some point too. Well, good luck because <laughs> good luck. He lives in Croatia and I've been trying to get him on my show. And the time oh. difference, the time difference is terrible. I didn't know he was in Croatia. Yeah. Which is something I never thought about doing this. You don't think about time differences. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I've got a the next the next show that I do for the radio, I've got my buddy Duel. And he's in a and he was in a band uh that was local. Well, now he lives in Prague. Okay. He he, he oh, wow. went he went abroad, he went abroad to go to school. And then he's going to come back and uh, he's done radio for years and he has his pot. He has podcast and podcast. So I'm going to get him to do it, but we have an eight hour time difference. So when it's noon here, it'll be seven, seven o'clock there at night. So it's something I never thought about until doing mm -hmm. it. It's really a pain in the ass. It, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. have a really cool interview coming up. Uh, next week yeah actually um, I'll, i have <laughs> i have with my aka chit chat and um we had been wanting to get her on any show at some point her name is vice versa she's absolutely amazing she's, she's based out of scotland gorgeous she's like talented and she's the coolest person but she's yeah. in scotland and i was like how the fuck are we gonna do this <laughs> it's just, the stars align she's in america right now and yeah, she's stateside. So, so. <laughs> I have I have some incredible interviews coming up. Like I can't plug away there, if, you can't, if you want. Plug them, plug them. <laughs> I can't say if you it. can. Oh, okay. You can't say it. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but there are some pretty. I mean, it's amazing. It, I find it amazing because I don't see myself as you know. People, other people see me differently than I see myself because of just because of this band and and the things that I've done and the people that I've talked to recently have definitely I don't know it's just <clears throat> it's very humbling um, and some of the people that I've reached out to that I never thought I'd get a response back where it's like set to go to talk and which I'm like holy shit how how am I gonna do this but I say that every like every time every before every interview even with my my friends it's like how am I gonna do this how how am I gonna how am I gonna make this flow into something that people want to watch but it yeah. always works out uh and the last one I did was just blowing my mind the people that are commenting and watching and 
it's, it's cool. I mean, because this is totally new for me. So it's just just uh, branching out, trying you know, trying to do something different in the, in my free time. Let me let me ask you something real fast. I actually have two things to ask you or or, or whatnot. Uh, uh, was it for me? Or was it was it awkward learning to? And and I mean this. I'm not being sarcastic or anything. Was it awkward learning to talk to a computer screen? You know, at first when you first started doing because for us it that's that was the learning curve for me. Yeah. You know, was well, it, was I'll it, talk to the wall, so yeah. it wasn't really that <laughs> for me. <laughs> Well, I've never been, I've never been super out there to begin with. So yeah, it, the worst part, the worst part about it is when you're talking to somebody and their signals sucks. So they're going yeah. out <laughs> and it's like, holy shit, I'm, this is almost, I don't even know if this is worth posting, it's, but it's different. It, this whole thing is different for me. I basically am just jumping in head first, you know, um, cause I've been given kind of a cool opportunity. So I mean, whatever you know, whatever comes of it is up to me. So I'm, I'm excited. The other thing I wanted to bring up here <laughs> was seeing how we. I'm laughing at this. Do hash mish. Do hash Yeah, uh, Ron Stein's been playing out here. You know, oh, they did. One, like, they did their one st- uh, stadium. Their their tour huge here. tour, and all of my friends went, and I'm jelly. Yeah, I heard, they, I heard they sold. I heard they sold out of their tour tickets in like twenty minutes. Pretty They're much, and one of the uh, few bands that are like Metallica, where to this day they can they're still doing arena rock, I, and that's hard to do in this day and age. But they it's the only places where they can bring their entire show because it's a if you've seen it, it's a it's a yeah it's a it's a, it's, a, it's an it's well worth the the price of the tickets. I yeah, am. Some pictures. It's a it's a goal. It's it, it it's a bucket list to go see uh, them. My 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 number one bucket list right now at the moment is to see October Noir. That's no joke. <laughs> yeah, no, like we we that's why I keep pressing. Like, so when are you gonna come to California? Like, you guys would come out of California. Yeah. Like, fine, come on. fine. We'll go to Florida. And we'll go. We'll go over there to you guys. We'll just go. <laughs> we'll just go. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, it would a dream of mine would be if if we could all synchronize a two week vacation. Just that would be awesome, all, and just somehow make it work. But it's nice. it's hard. It's I hard. never I never say never though. I mean, you know, oh, if we could bring if you... we could bring our our people with us, and you know, yep. are all y'all safe from Ian? Like since all that yeah. shit happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, is... um, which that's the worst thing about living on the coast, because uh, in a split second, I mean, in eight hours, you could lose everything. Uh, it's insane to think about like over here on the coast with uh California, we have, you know, some of the coldest waters and everything. Cause they're going to the, to the, uh, we just get tsunamis. <laughs> <that's pretty much laughs> it. We get earthquakes and tsunamis. And then those are pretty much not as it's nothing like the hurricanes you guys get there. We're, uh, yeah. It's insane to think about. We have shark attacks too. <laughs> yeah. Bull shark attacks. Someone recently. Yep. Um, and, and I really want to, um, go swimming with sharks and he doesn't want to let me oh I I not, not that he controls me or anything but he he will pull me yeah. out of the water <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't i don't want to swim with sharks i uh, want to i want to pet a hammerhead the, uh if you ever come to whenever wh- i'll, I'll not say <laughs> it but when you guys finally do get here to california and you go to long beach or not long beach um honey you don't want to swim in beach, don't swim long in long beach. beach you're going to be swimming with uh, syringes there but, okay. uh huntington beach you will have sand sharks right at your feet I, I, and they're 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 nice. They're, they're not amazing. they're not mean or anything like that. They're cute. <laughs> I I was like, hey, shuffle, because I've been stung by a stingray, and he goes, I think I see one. I go, oh no, that's a shark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was all just, what? We just have jellyfish everywhere. Oh, <laughs> My dad kicked what he thought was a bag, and yeah. it was not a bag. Yeah. So, um, well, you watch our show. Or you want to ask? I that was going to ask. I was okay. Like, okay, let's so because I have an interesting way of asking this, and it's seen how we haven't. Brought up, I mean, we're a show based on murder and true crime, is and metal and metal and, and yeah. music and like that. Uh, uh, both predominantly true crime and stuff. And excuse me, I burped. <laughs> and, me, and just us being weirdos. Uh, is yeah. what? What do you? Which serial killer do you think your music 
would vibe with the most. Like, <laughs> it's, 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 that's why I said I was going to ask this in a very interesting way. <laughs> like, if you had a serial killer, you're like, dude, I think I made this song for this particular person. <laughs> that's that's a brutal question. That's, I I'm sorry to ask it that way. That's almost as bad as who's your favorite serial killer, and you're like. Well, well, do I have a favorite? <laughs> well, I might. I'm probably going to say Michael Myers because we do have we do have a song called Effigy, and it does have some Michael Myers I vibes. I love Effigy, by the way. That's funny. <laughs> uh, it's got some it's got some Halloween vibes to it, so I could say that. And Michael Myers is my favorite, so that yeah, works. I can't, I can't, and because I mean, he's fictional, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like me. No, damn it! I want the real ones. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I want to get Freddy Krueger tattooed on me, like with his glove out like that. Yeah. You know, and I remember my mom one time was like, "He's a like a child murderer." I'm like, "He's but fictional. He's fictional." <laughs> so Robert England. He's not real. He, Robert England <laughs> actually didn't do any of the, any of those things. <laughs> so, um. Yeah. So that is not the answer I was expecting, but I didn't know what answer I might be expecting. <laughs> so well, I had to think. I had to think because the, I mean, we do the song "Effigy" is kind of about a killing on Halloween. So uh, I would. That's just what I came up. And also, I just went on a tear and bought like every single Halloween DVD because I got I get tired of waiting for them to, to stream. So I just bought them all. So. It, I've been watching it, those yeah. nonstop lately. Uh, <laughs> Carrie, I used the "Who's your favorite serial killer?" thing as a pillow talk as pillow talk one time. The answer I got was me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't. I I I'm not sure how you react to that answer right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time October Noir comes on, I have to do something strange. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. If you don't remember, uh, if you if you didn't know about the first incident, <laughs> oh god, I was so hungry. I, I was, and I thought my mic was off. I was like, all right, let's get this fucking over with. Let's get this <laughs> and I over was like, with. I didn't mean it. Was like, it's on. I didn't mean to say that. Like, I was like, let's go. He said, let's get this over with so we can eat. And Tom was like, really? <laughs> Tom being Tom. <laughs> really? You want to yeah. fucking get this over with so you can eat, huh? <laughs> we were already two hours. And he's in. like, oh, he's just fucking bored with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah tom tom is not a he's not slow to break your balls at any chance he can it's get awesome it. and i loved it oh, yeah. i loved also that he took it in stride oh, and, yeah. And, yeah, or, yeah. and wasn't like offended by it even though this one was almost in tears because he felt like he offended i was like i'm so i was like i just wanted to go get food i didn't know i, was, I wasn't supposed to be on i mean I didn't, I didn't mean to cuss that way <laughs> it's just the yeah. way he said so what do you got to plug right now? Like that you can plug. Well, I've got, I don't know. I've got, I've got the noir hour, which is, which is on the radio. Uh, it streams on perturbradio.com every Wednesday night from uh, six to eight cent central, I guess. Yeah. So it's um, two hours ahead of us. So that would be Did six to eight right? would be, Four o'clock uh, Pacific time. Yeah, I did math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been looking at I've been looking at so many different time zones trying to figure stuff out. I, I it's I almost forget what time zone I'm in. Trying it's, to do the math on this shit. You said four p.m. our time. Yes, four p.m. Pacific, which uh, would be seven. central would be Eastern or um, central would be. Yeah. Yeah, the central people can figure their thing. Their own shit out, okay, <laughs> y'all can figure your own shit out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get I get messages from people and they're like, uh, uh, "Well, if it's if it's on at this time for you, what time is it on for me?" And I'm like, "Uh, you're like one hour. Know. You're one hour behind. Okay, one yeah. hour. <laughs> Count backwards." <laughs> Aww, <laughs> he's blushing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't have a whole lot to plug on our side. Uh, definitely check it. Uh, go stream our music. Um, yes. It, I can't. I cannot. You know, we have some songs in the tank, and I just, I just want to throw them out. I'm like, ah, 
I know you can't. Oh, I know you can't. We've had, we've been very blessed with Tom allowing us to do that a couple times. Yeah. He, yeah, with the um, uh, Crimson Clover, Crimson and Clover uh, after the. When we fucked up and couldn't get it to play. Yeah, uh, it, that when, when when everything glitched and we couldn't get the music to play, and Doug had to actually hook his phone up, and it was like, ah, oh, I was like, I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, our our in everything messed up, but then like a few weeks later, uh, fast forward a few weeks later, that's when uh, Tom was like, hey guys, here's a here's a here's our cover of Crimson Clover. You guys can totally play this, and I literally on the spot was able to get it to work and we get it to play and everything like that. I was like, this is amazing. So yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, did I do that right? The Noir Hour Turb Radio every Wednesday. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Does that sound right? I think so. It's it's cool. per, <laughs> perturb. Perturb? Not perturbed. Oh, oh, well, so no, I did not do it right. You, you get, did not do uh, it right. People, people can find it. Yeah. Doo -doo. Done. It's, you guys are uh, on, um, you can so, find your music through Spotify, YouTube, all the all the channels, right? Yeah, everything. Apple Music, all those places. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have Apple Music. Now I can actually download it, and then I can force my friends that are on the Apple Music app with me to listen to you guys, exactly. and they're going to love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will make them love you. <laughs> well, I, I seem to find a way to plug to try to plug it every chance I get. Um, I went to see Demon Hunter, and I got to meet Ooh. them, and the lead guitarist had on a, a October Rust shirt. Um, nice. And I had and, and I had a, some cards of ours in my wallet, and I'm like, "Look, you need to check them out." I didn't say it was me or anything. I was like, "You really need to check the band out." So, uh, we we do know. that too because we have the the shirts that Tom sent us, and we were like, "We'll wear them every once in a while because so every once comfy." While. I'll wear we wear them, them all the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and we're like, "Okay, so this shirt is actually iced earth. This is stop being a pussy." So I'm not gonna, but like we'll be like people will be like, oh, who's that? I'm like, oh, you gotta fucking check them out. Just go fucking listen to them. Yep. Just do it. Well, you know, <laughs> I had no idea, but when I went to see Corn, I was actually wearing one of our band shirts. So when I got backstage <laughs> to hang out with all of them, I was in my shirt and uh, head from Corn, the lead guitarist. He asked about it, which you I had met me. him when I was a lot younger. Um. But he asked about it. You know, of course, he didn't remember me, but he want he always he wanted to know about the band. So I got to talk to that a little about that a little bit. Head so is a really nice cool. person. He's Head, a very very nice, nice person. He, is. he gave me a fifteen dollar tip one time because <laughs> I delivered to his house. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh yeah. When he when he first left Corn and went on his solo mm -hmm. uh, Christian, he played at he he played at a church in my town. And I got to go pick him up from the hotel in my car and take him to the show. That's right. Oh, that's so, so was, cool. Yeah, I would think I was 21 years old and I was just freaking the fuck out. I wouldn't know what to do. No, because he was, I mean, we we're just sitting there chit chatting. He was in the passenger seat of my car. And I'm like, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I didn't say much. I know that. I didn't say a whole lot. Sorry, I was taking a drink. Um, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the uh, I think we just got a the bot, bot that we just <laughs> on got Twitch. on Twitch. <laughs> Don't put it up. No, I'm just laughing at it because <laughs> at least at least it's in English. Like, <laughs> like at least we've got a lot of Russian bots and Korean bots lately. You so. know the the first time I did, actually did yeah you say oh my god had a, it was right when he left the band and moved back here to Bakersfield. Uh, uh, both him and Jonathan do I know Jonathan right now does live in the same suburb that of our town that he lived that had lived in and uh, uh but meeting him for the first time it was like one o'clock in the morning and he just ordered a small pizza <laughs> and I was like my, my 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 buddy who I worked with was like that's that's head's address and I was like what the hell I was like no way and then I walked up and and he's standing there in front of his garage sure. I was like oh my god it's you he's all yeah 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 <laughs> we just talked for a minute and he's all, Hey man, Hey, just keep the change. And it was 17, $20 tip. And this was yeah. like back in 2002 <laughs> or oh, no, shit. not 2002. That was a long time ago. It was right that when was he first left the then. band. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. that won't get you. A, just a couple of I told you guys I'm old. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, now that gets you like two gallons of gas. 
Get you, a gallon, a gallon, get you a gallon and a half here in California. <laughs> yeah, watch over here. So, yeah, yeah, see, that's another reason for us to move down south. Almost I mean, eight. biggest reason is to be able to go see you guys live. It's almost eight bucks a gallon right now. When I put gas in my mom's car today, eight bucks almost. That's crazy. It's insane. But I mean, I was trying to say that I wanted to go see them live, and you're. Oh, I'm about sorry. That, so, you know. Oh, I told you. I'm older than <laughs> yeah. you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk gas prices and the weather and. And get out my farmer's almanac and talk about the fields and everything. And the Is the water cold and deep too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's. I don't know. It's always hot here, but it's a. It's a good place to be. Um, I've got a friend. He he does a podcast and a YouTube show. He's in El Centro, California. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling nice. him like, you got to get out of there. You need to come south. And everybody needs to it's, get away from somewhere. Um, it is currently 85 degrees outside, um, and that is nice for now because it was for the longest time. Uh, it hit 121 at one point this summer. 125 was the highest it was this year, this summer in downtown. Last summer, uh, we had a heat wave that Death Valley hit uh, 133, and we're not yeah. all that far from Death Valley. Hottest place on earth. Yeah. It yeah. literally is. <laughs> I, I would like I would like to just be cold all the time. That would be great. Same. Yeah. Uh, we have invitations to move to Alaska. Well, not that cold. <laughs> I would love to take them up on it. Like not that because they're it's my best friend's sister, uh, <laughs> and she's like, dude, we have a place that you can stay until you guys get on your feet and everything. And I'm like, I want to. No, I just like the the atmosphere of. The, the southern states and stuff like that with the, like especially when it comes to music it it it, it Memphis a, in may is the coolest thing i've there, ever been to there's this i don't know it's the way your guys's woods are all this other stuff it's just so dark and it, it there there's a lot of history there everything it's just amazing it, it's it's a great atmospheric place and then plus the cost of living is amazing too <laughs> yeah. yeah if i could be anywhere i would just be in gatlinburg tennessee oh i love gatlinburg oh that's uh, that's we uh me and my girl we go up there all the time for vacation it's just where uh i went to nashville a couple of months ago and that was awesome so everything about tennessee has got me all over it it's uh one of the coolest things that i got to do was uh memphis in may and if you don't know what that is it's this gigantic festival but it's not one genre it is all over the place so they had like three six mafia and then they had some punk bands and then they had some metal bands and then they had some blues bands and some freaking yeah. country bands and everything. And it was just, it was amazing. Nashville alone with the music scene. That's, it's becoming, Oh, that was in Memphis. A, well, I'm just saying, so. uh, <laughs> Memphis, yeah. but the, yeah. it's becoming a Mecca like for, for, for music. And uh, you know, it's not just for country anymore. It's literally for everything. Yeah. You know? Well, and I had, yeah. When we were in Nashville, we uh, spent a lot of time at Nudie's Bar, and we saw the same band two or three times, and they were just rocking. I mean, just some of the most talented musicians you've ever seen in your life playing old 80s and 90s rock and metal. It's fucking insane. It's we spent a lot of money at that bar. <laughs> it's, it's always happening. It's just bar. The, 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 the pubs alone are the places where when I go to a show, it's so that's where I spend the most money. <laughs> Yeah. The, the beers and everything. By like the way, Jake's and... watching. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. <laughs> Sorry, he, he messaged on the side. He can't chime in for some reason. Oh. So. What we'll the check settings later? Yeah. So. But what? yeah, dude, we have gone over the hour. <laughs> 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 it has been awesome chatting with you. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on our show yeah. and. Plugging the everything. Very last I mean, minute too, wasn't it? it was, well, it wasn't exactly last minute. I know. I know, um, I know we, I've said a few times, like, "Hey, Tyler, we got to have you on. We got to have you on." And it's no, been. Um, he and I have been talking for a couple. Weeks. <laughs> oh, I get that. <laughs> uh, but he, 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 you know, he was under the weather around the same time we were. <laughs> oh yeah, that was got terrible. COVID for the third time or fourth time. We got to, we got, we got COVID for like the fourth we were, time. I was down for a week. <laughs> yeah. I, I was that up. was the first time that I'd had it, so it wasn't too bad. No, it's oh. it, for some odd reason with me. It really saps my energy, but other than that, like it's just the ringing in my ear and 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 the the lack of s- sense of smell and stuff like that just gets me like for the week and a half that I have it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but, I mean, it kept testing negative, so I just. Oh no! It was. But, sorry, my <laughs> <laughs> dad moment again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so Kelly says, "Bye, Tyler. Bye, guys. Thanks for bringing the noir here. I'll be back. Love yous. Bye." <laughs> <laughs> and again, guys, go check out October Noir on all the music platforms. Spotify, Apple Spotify, Music. Apple Music. Um, yeah, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook. We we try to we try to keep it keep it uh keep it interesting there. That's and awesome. then also www.octobernoir.org where you can yep. get merch. And we bought the CD. Like yep. <laughs> we were like, wait, we the I don't even band. have a CD player, but I bought the CD. <laughs> we have a CD yeah. player. <laughs> where? It's, I've been looking for it, it's so a, I can it's play the, the damn closet. CD. <laughs> We just play it on Spotify. We just yeah. <laughs> we play it over and over on Spotify. Yeah, people love CDs. It's it's mm-hmm. surprising. Uh, I wish we could do vinyl, but it's so fucking expensive. It is so I expensive. I don't, I don't buddy, think we could ever be able to justify it. Um, but you know, I'd buy the shit out of it. It's weird to, <laughs> to think that back in the '90s, vinyls went down so much that my you were able to buy a vinyl record or a record for like a dollar. Yeah. And those same records right now, like Celtic Frost and all these black metal bands that that, that stuck with it and put them out on thin because they were cheap at the time. Those records now are worth five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Oh, no. I've paid. I, I just paid one hundred and fifty dollars for a for a Woods of Prey vinyl that you can't find anymore. I I paid. I don't want to. I'm not going to get into too much, but I have paid some <laughs> serious fucking money for oh. some of these albums that I mean you, they'll never be pressed again. And I'm if a, they do, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> But I'm a big fan of Master's Hammer and um and uh they're I forgot where they're from. They're uh they're from uh Poland and um they they their their music is all black metal, but they they're in pirate shirts and all sort of stuff. And yeah. um uh, I paid a hundred bucks for their uh one of their first albums and I absolutely Constance. refuse to take the posters out, anything like that. I've, yeah. I was like, I keep all my all our vinyls. I keep the posters in there and everything. I want yeah. to be pristine. The, the most expensive vinyl that I have, it's still it's still wrapped up with the sticker on it, and I I cannot spin it. I, I just can't. It's I mean, I, you know, and then I'm over here. I was so excited <laughs> to get a three dollar Ingve Malstein uh, <laughs> vinyl. Like we found it one day. I was like, I'm getting this motherfucker, <laughs> and he's all Ingve. I'm like, fuck yeah, Ingve. You know, <laughs> I have to say this this way. Uh, people nowadays, it's 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 easy to get vinyls and like what we do now, like and just put them up, you know. Right. And because you can always go and listen to everything on on the internet and be like, okay, I'm just going to listen to. I'm, I have this, and I'm going to put it up. But back in the day when we got vinyls, you couldn't. Um, in, in the early 2000s. You back in just, my day. Back in my day, you still had to go listen to it. And like, <laughs> I had a friend who luckily had everything hooked up right. So we what we would do is, uh, I would run my vinyl. Through his uh, record player to his cassette player, and it's yeah. then like, then uh, get everything you're on cassette. Talking like so. your balls dunk into the toilet when you they <laughs> do. <laughs> like, you're freaking forty one, not like eighty. I was back on the, in my day. I was on the cuffs of back in my day. I can say that I'm forty one. Uh, you did have to know a guy to know a guy and get things recorded. <laughs> That's how yeah. it happened. And then you whippersnappers have Spotify now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I just want to say hi to Constance. Also, I hope you're feeling better and healing up. <laughs> well, I when guess. I was a, when I was a kid, I had blank tapes, and I would listen to the radio and record it and make my own mixes. And That's stuff. awesome. Yes, same. That's like awesome. I mean, I, for me, it was K Rock. Did that when I was like, like six, like seven or eight. You know, when I was just young. Oh yeah. Never, yeah. never knew who any never knew who any of them were. Uh my favorite song when I was a kid was 1979 by the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh. And oh. Took, but I had no computer and they and I'd always listen to see if they would tell me who it was. I think I found out that that was the Smashing Pumpkins and when I was 16 years old. It took me that <laughs> long just by I have been chance. I have been re-listening to my junior high years. My sixth grade and junior high years, I went back and listened to um, uh, Nevermind. And I, it's been 25 years since I listened to that album. I listened to it the other day the, all the way through. And it's, I still like just flabbergasted of how much that embodied the, the 90s with grunge and just and like Ace the of Ace of Base. Ace of Base. We were listening to Ace of Base today. 
<laughs> and then going back and listening to you brought up um, Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah. Uh, listening to uh, the the uh, yeah, like nineteen seventy nine, all that stuff. It's just such a, it, it was such an amazing era. I, I don't care what anybody says. The nineties was they, they so much good music oh, came out the in the nineties. It was the best. I, I am and always have been obsessed with Oingo Boingo. I mean, I know it's shocking looking at the uh, <laughs> so bland makeup that I do and uh, such n- just natural hair wow. colors. Yeah, but um, I, I, I'm Danny. Elfman I love Danny all Elfman. The soundtracks to all the best movies now. <laughs> I adore Danny Elfman. I love Oingo Boingo. I used to put Oingo Boingo in my Teddy Ruxpin. Um, <laughs> and play it, or or when you put uh. I used to put Metallica into my Teddy Ruck spin and push play and fast forward at the same time and laugh because it sounded like chipmunks <laughs> uh, and totally wreck the tapes. Um, but like, yeah, the nineties, that was just where it was. <laughs> with the music. That's what, that's how I chi- was chiming in. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a period of time that was trans. It was transitional is what it was. There was a lot of stuff going on like with CDs and digital music. And a lot of us, especially if you're, you know, you're five or six doing then, so you can start remembering and start doing some things. And like, it, it's insane that you say that, like, like recording music like that, like that, that was a thing that we did when I was in yeah. eight, when I was a kid growing up in the eighties, like I got lucky. My parents bought me a cassette player and I did the exact same thing that you did. It was like music. I heard music on the radio and I wanted stuff like Twisted Sister and everything like that, you know, and then moving on to my junior high years when there's, you know, obviously never mind And, uh, Green Day and stuff like that coming out, and I I transitioned into that. But the '90s was very much a transitional period into digital digital sound and everything. Sorry. Susan said, "Huge Radiohead experimental phase and Cake." Cake was amazing. Uh, the Toadies. Toadies, Rubberneck is my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, you know, <laughs> we're having a squirrel moment. Live. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, you know, it's fun to talk music I with know. somebody who is, you know, it's actually to, a musician yeah. and like. Yeah. And you get a chance to like really get into the influences that they had when they were younger and everything like that. So yeah. I, I, I like I like this kind of conversation. Yeah, <laughs> cool. there was a, there was quite a while where I wasn't listening to a lot of music, but doing this radio deal, I have been diving into music so much lately. It's almost like I uh, just you know when you play music and you're recording all the time and you're trying to work on this idea or that idea, you kind of leave all the other out. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's oh Marcy Playground. Marcy Playground was fun. Marcy Playground, Harvey I Danger, love sex and violence, <laughs> candy, sex and oh, sexy candy. candy. I'm sorry, was... not the exploited, not the exploited. <laughs> uh, I mean, although like those the exploited, but <laughs> as you can see from our our commercial, sex and violence. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, we tried to say goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we I will let y'all go. Um, no, it, I mean, you're welcome to stay as long as you want, but you know, I figure you're tired. It's uh, a lot later over there. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well, thank pre- you again. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate ahead. you having me on. It's been fun. I've, I've now the whole band has been on. Yes. Well, and now we got to get all of you together Yep. at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Even if it means like multiple screens, I don't care. We can do this. Yeah. We can do this. <laughs> well, we're, uh, we're getting back together on stage and we're, you know, we've been together behind the scenes. So I think we'll make yes. that happen sometime soon. Tell That's Tom right. we miss him. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> he, make he, Tom he, text, watch this. <laughs> he texted me a minute ago and said he was watching. So Hi, said, Tom! Hey. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what Doug's doing. I'm sure, I'm sure he's, I don't know. He might, he's probably playing keyboard right now. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Even if you're not watching right now, yeah. hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you again. And again, as always, you are always welcome on, and we would love to have all of you on again. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Have a wonderful night, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. We'll see y'all later. I am the boss of the world.